in front of me here is three pieces from a company called clocks and colors and i remember seeing their advertisements a few years ago they had this really cool biker edge to them and it's interesting because i i've been a, a motorcycle rider since junior high school when i really shouldn't have been but i had a little yamaha 250 that i used to buzz up and down the road on uh since then i've owned a couple of harleys a triumph yamaha uh, suzuki anyway it was my first tattoo <laughs> you know it's part of my life so i'm pretty familiar with the style of jewelry that i saw from them and uh it's something that i had seen quite a bit in places like daytona bike week and and different bike shows and stuff like that was a lot of different places who had this style of jewelry which is big in your face pretty intimidating looking the thing is, though, most of the time, it's it's also pretty cheap. You know, you get, it's steel, which, uh, there's no problem with steel. My, my, actually, my first wedding band was steel. I ended up losing it. Of course, the best thing to do, though, if you're going to go with any kind of jewelry, is get the best you can afford, just like with, with anything else. What I promised Clocks and Colors that I would do is an unboxing of their jewelry and give my honest opinion on it. So they allowed me to choose these three pieces you see here. And the reason I chose these three is because I felt like each one had a little something different to really show off what they can do. So let's go ahead, let's unbox these now, let's check them out. Um, right off the bat, uh, the packaging is is pretty standard, I mean, for what you would normally get. Sometimes you buy things, like when I bought this Oris, I, I got this freaking package that was enormous. It was like, I mean, it was beautiful, don't get me wrong, but you know what happened to that package? It's sitting on my shelf, doing nothing at all. So. Sometimes when it comes to, to packaging, I feel like if it adds to the cost of the product, I don't really care. What I really care about is what's actually inside the packaging. So when it comes to a choice of a better product or a cheaper product with packaging that does the job and looks decent or amazing packaging and presentation, but you have to pay more for it, I'm going to chuck it anyway. I would rather pay the money for uh, what's actually inside. So here we go. We've got these three pieces here. This is a necklace. These two are rings right here. And uh, they are definitely, they are they are massive. These are big pieces. Just to give you an idea, this is um, the, the wedding band that I normally wear, which is a little bit bigger than normal. This, uh, wow, this is, <laughs> That's pretty damn cool. Look at that. There's a lot of intricate carvings. Now, what are the, okay, so the cool thing about this is these are actually hand-carved silver. They do come in steel as well for a, a, a cheaper price, but, I mean, wow. That's really, really cool. Now, as I mentioned, I chose these three pieces because each one was a little bit different. This one here has a turquoise stone in it, so I thought that'd be kind of neat to see. This is a necklace which is a, you know, it's not a huge chunky necklace, like a big giant chain like you would see, you know, at some, uh, you know, hip hop artist wearing. But I like the fact that they used a couple of different colors of metals so we could see how they worked with those there. And finally was this one here, which looked to be the most intricately carved one that they had. And I'll say it actually, uh, you know, it looks better in person than it did on the website, which is saying something, because a lot of times the website photos are professional and all that stuff, but man, oh man, the intricacy of the the carving on this and the thing that it's all done by hand is pretty amazing. So uh, let me give you the names of these pieces here. All right, so in front of us, what we have is this is the Los Muertos ring, the skull one. This is the North Star with brass inlay. That's the necklace. And then this one right here, this is the Spectre. And... Uh, this one is, you know what these almost remind me of? They remind me of what you would see a villain wearing in like a movie because you can see like if I put that on and uh, you know, I got the sizes and stuff like that. If I put that on, I mean, that's something that, you know, that's that's a statement ring for sure right there. Damn, there's no missing that. And especially, you know, if you uh, 
if you're into rings and you're you're into that kind of thing, I know a lot of people like wearing multiple at one time. Uh, I like wearing usually one on each hand. Sometimes, as you can see right now, I just have my wedding band on. So some people can rock different looks. That's totally up to you. Whatever you like is is fine. But when it comes to a statement piece, that'll do it right there. That is a solid chunk of silver. That's the other thing. This thing is heavy, um, as you would expect. And one of the cool things is if you if you get jewelry that's cheaper, sometimes you'll see that the back of it is is hollowed out. You know, so they'll actually they'll kind of skimp out on some of the material there this isn't this is solid this is i wouldn't want somebody whipping this thing at my head that's for sure and uh i can imagine if you have that on your hand there um you're gonna need to sort of adjust for that weight i can absolutely feel it this isn't like kind of ring that you put on and then just forget about it's there for sure and there's no um this is not a, a wallflower ring either this is one that's right in your face but when you look a little bit deeper um the stone is a beautiful color it's surrounded by some really nice carvings. Uh, and to think that's all done by hand, that's pretty damn impressive. Very, very cool. I, I really like this a lot. And as I mentioned, it actually looks better uh, in person than it does online. Moving over here to the North Star necklace. Uh, I actually used to be like a total necklace guy. I used to wear them all the time. And then I stopped wearing them because in my job, they're not allowed. Uh, you can't wear anything that dangles uh, in front of moving parts or rotating parts because it could potentially get caught. This is, uh, this is really, really neat. And what I like about it is the two different metals, the way they interact with each other, it makes that star really stand out. And what's cool too is that star overhangs the edge just a bit. So it's, it has a little bit more dimension to it. And uh, boy. Some really neat work there. And the back is smooth, which is probably what you would want because that's against your, your body after all. You don't want it irritating you, especially with all the raised uh, stuff here. And, um, you know, even the ring that attaches it to the chain. The chain is a nice gauge for a man where, you know, women... My wife has some, some necklaces where the chain is so, like, dental floss thin that I'm wondering how it, how it doesn't snap, you know? I mean, but it, they don't. Uh, but this is a nice gauge. And then I just noticed this. The clasp has some detailing on it as well. It has a little skull and crossbones. And then uh, just like a regular kind of like lobster claw opening. That's pretty cool too. So even the uh, the clasp has detailing to it. Very interesting. Being a, uh, you know, a motorcycle rider, being into, you know, metal and rock my entire life. This kind of imagery is not unfamiliar. It's, it's... Uh, it's very commonplace, and I, I like it because typically if something is a little bit scary, it tends to impress people. And uh, I'm not saying that you would wear this to impress others. I mean, you should wear something because you like it, and that's first and foremost. But, you know, you look at this thing, and it is, you you kind of automatically want to look at it closer and turn it over. And um, just looking at it here... My initial impression, as I mentioned, is it does look more impressive than it does on the website, but there's certain things that you wouldn't notice unless you had it in your hand. For example, again, it's solid. This thing feels heavy because it is uh, solid silver. They have a little bit of carving underneath the chin there, which, you know, usually you kind of see it'll stop or it's like it's something that's poured into a mold and then they pop it out and then they add dye and then they just sell it to you. But um this one has carving underneath the chin and the cheekbones. There's actually a space between the cheekbone. It actually sort of forms like a bridge that goes through. If I tried to carve something like this, it would come out like a disaster, that's for sure. But the symmetry and, and the fact that this is all done by hand and stuff, this is definitely a another level from the stuff that I've seen. And what's really neat is... There are a couple of brands that I remember seeing where you could buy rings like this, but they were really expensive and they would have like ruby eyes and stuff. Look, I'm not going to pay that much because if I wear a ring, number one, I, I might lose it. Number two, if I'm actually doing things with it, working on cars or riding a motorcycle or anything like that, uh, they're going to get beat up. And I really don't want, you know, a platinum ring getting destroyed and then have to pay, you know, eight, nine hundred dollars for another one. So these fall in the sweet spot of, uh, you know, somewhere around 200 bucks, depending on which model it is and, and the different options and all that stuff. I like the fact that they sit in that level of being premium 
a nice bit of silver for sure. Quite a bit, actually. I wonder how heavy that actually is. It has some nice weight to it. Uh, hand carved and just uh, talk about a statement piece. Holy moly. Now, you could wear multiple rings like this on one hand or at the same time. I think your hand would get pretty heavy because these things are, uh, they do weigh quite a bit. Not enough that you're going to be fatigued. I mean, come on, really. But uh, if you're used to not wearing much at all or no rings, then um, then they're going to be a little bit of an adjustment. And some of the clocks and colors photos that they have on their social media and on their website have people wearing multiple rings. And so I think that if you were going to do that, if you're going to buy a couple from this company, the thing to do would be choose one statement ring. And then they have other ones which are a little bit uh, less bold. They're all bold. They're all very like statement pieces. But if you get one with a really big presence like this here, where, I mean, you know, it just draws the eye, the other ones on your hand should be supporting, you know what I mean? So if you had one centerpiece, the rest shouldn't be centerpieces as well. I would do other smaller ones, maybe, if that was your look. Um, because if you do too many of these, then you, you kind of go like full on Johnny Depp, you know? And that's just, uh, it's not my style. If it is yours, then hey, rock on. And looking at the Clocks and Colors website, there's actually quite a few different pieces. Ones that are a little more toned down and a little more subdued. Uh, if you don't want something that's so bold, there's uh, ones that are equal to these as far as boldness goes and, and, and being impressive. But the cool thing about something like this, if you wear something like this, I I, um, I think that you'll, you're gonna get a lot of comments on it. You know, a lot of people will, will use this as a conversation piece and that might not be such a bad thing, especially if it's somebody who uh, finds you attractive and is looking to strike up a conversation. Hey, cool ring is not exactly the worst opening line I've ever heard. So uh, anyway, that's an overview of the clocks and colors stuff. Hand carved, heavy silver stuff, uh, which is definitely unique and bold. I think if this is your style, if this is your kind of thing, go and give them a look because um, they're pretty damn cool. I, I could see myself wearing these more so you're probably going to see these make appearances in more videos going forward but maybe it's your style too so if it is go check them out <laughs>